All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Arkham Origin Deathstroke figure by DC Collectibles. And uh, this is how he looks in packaging from the front. Basically, it's the same packaging as uh, Wave 1, uh, where they had Batman, uh, Joker, uh, Black Mass, and uh, a couple of other figures. And uh, here's the read up. Pause and read that. Collect them all. We have uh, Deathshot, uh, Deathstroke, uh, Killer Krog, which I uh, also picked up, and uh, Anarchy. That I don't know, uh, Firefly, and uh, so yeah, let's uh, open Deathstroke up. Alright, and here we have Deathstroke outside of packaging. Uh, took the liberty of giving him a pose, and uh, he comes with this uh, long staff. And then he comes with a pistol, and a sword, with a working sheath, and also a working holster for the pistol. That's um, actually a Desert Eagle that he has there. Which I'll show in a sec, but let's take a look at the impressive figure. Sculpting on this is really, really nice. And you can see the aggressiveness on that one eye he has. The battle damage they added looks nice. The paint job is nice. And uh, there are some rubber parts on him, like this. Um, uh, this over the shoulder uh, belt here, and then the waist, also that belt around the waist is rubbery. The holster is rubbery. The sheath, however, is hard plastic, so that's kind of nice. There's the back side of him, and uh, two strands uh, from the bandana, that's uh, rubbery. And here's a good look at the Desert Eagle he's holding. And just look at that. Wow. It's a great looking figure. Uh, highly articulated. Uh, let's go over articulation real quick. Uh, head is on a ball joint. Uh, shoulders are ball hinge. And bicep, there's a swivel joint. And then uh, and we have a hinge elbow. And then uh, uh, ball hinge a wrist. And then uh, the abdominal area, there's a hinge joint right there. And then the waist is ball jointed. The hips are ball hinged. And then the thigh, there's a cut joint. And double jointed knees. And then the uh, ball hinged ankles. So as far as articulation, this guy is really good. And he could um, pull off some really nice uh, poses as well too. But one thing that... Um, you're gonna have to be really careful with is that he has a lot of joints that are sticking together a fused joints uh, because of the paint that they use uh, the metallic blue I think it might might be the metallic blue or it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah uh, joints uh, the the ones that I had to I had to fix was the bicep over here uh, basically what I did was uh, put him in the freezer and then uh, push and pull a little bit and then I heard it cracked and now it moves perfectly and then the other one that gave me a lot of problems with was the, um, the crunch the abdominal crunch here uh, what I had to do was I had to take them apart basically uh, I softened it uh, basically I used a hair dryer soften up the, the plastic it's kind of rubber. well it's it's a hard type of rubber plastic so if you heat it, it's gonna soften up, and uh, I basically pop the whole lower half off, and then uh, I uh, had to use the hair dryer to soften up uh, the hinge joint right here and on the other side as well, and then you basically use uh, brute force to crack it. But uh, once you've done that, uh, this is a great, great looking figure. And a lot of possibility again. And there's a nice pose of him holding the staff, two hands. And I stretch out that hand a little bit because he was holding the pistol too long. It's a quite an impressive figure. I uh, highly recommend this guy. Uh, I'll do a size comparison with the um, the Mattel version. All right, and here he is standing next to the Mattel. <clears throat> uh, Deathstroke, uh, the DC collectible 
one is uh, on the right and the Mattel one is on the left and uh, DC collectible one stands about six 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 and a half to six point seven five inches in height while the Mattel one is about six and a half or so so he's definitely a little bit taller and the color you can definitely tell is different um, this has more of a lighter shade of metallic blue while this one has more of a darker type of blue and uh, articulation wise uh, the DC collectible ones is uh, definitely way better and uh, also the scopes is better too even the that one eye look at that the intensity in this eye while the other one looks a bit weird yeah the paint job is nicer too the DC uh, collectibles one so I highly recommend this guy and uh, if you could find him uh, he should be available at your local comic shop uh, and also I think I think uh, some of the online retailers are are uh, uh, getting them soon yeah he costs about 25 bucks yeah it is kind of steep but but yeah, that's how it is with figures these days. Um, and uh, just for the heck of it, here he is standing next to Batman. Same height. Cool, now you can recreate that uh, fighting scene between them. So yeah, there you go. DC Collectibles Deathstroke. Definitely worth picking up. Thanks for watching.